Oh, hello. Today we're going to make a uh, skillet pizza. <laughs> I'm just in the mood for pizza. It's been a month or so since I've cooked pizza, so I decided I wanted a skillet pizza this time. I always use self-rising flour. Uh, you can use plain flour if you like. Just remember to put in your baking powder and your uh, salt. And I'm using about a cup of flour. I'm putting in a package of dry, rapid rise yeast. Yes, I'm putting it right in my dry ingredients. I'm putting in about a teaspoonful of sugar. I'm putting in just a pinch of salt. Not much. And I'm going to mix that together before I add my liquid. And I'm also going to, well, I'll do that one. I'll put it in my thing. Now, if you want seasoning or spices in your um, dough, you can do that. Oh, let's see. Some people like to put this was a last minute thing. I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> You know, you, some people like to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in their dough. You could put in a little bit of Italian seasoning. Mix it all up real good. Now I'm going to add oh, maybe two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to add warm water. And you'll have to, you know, judge how much water you put in there by how much, you know, how you add it and how it thickens. And, you know, you don't want it to stay watery. You don't want it to get too clumpy. You want it to look like dough, <laughs> if I make sense. A lot of times I don't make sense. I put probably half a cup of water in mine to about a cup and a quarter of flour and two tablespoons of um, olive oil. Then I'm just going to knead it. Because you want a little bit of flour left in the bottom of your bowl so you can knead your dough without it sticking all to your, your bowl.
now I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to lay my lid on it and let that set while I do the rest of my stuff here. First, get my fingers cleaned off. <laughs> Yeah, I just took a hanker for some skillet pizza today for some reason. Oh, I am going to preheat my oven to 375. While I cut up my onions and my other stuff. And you can cut up your onion any way you want. I mean, you can cut it up as fine as you want. I don't cut it up too fine, but I did chop it, dice it. And no, I'm not going to put this whole onion in there. <laughs> I'm only going to put about a quarter of this onion. That's plenty of onion right there. In fact, I may not even need quite all of that. And while my dough is rising for just a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and get some olives out, slice them up a little bit. Now, you don't have to put olives on yours. I like olives on mine. So, you can put whatever you would like on your pizza. It only takes a few, not many. That is the joy of making pizza yourself. You can put whatever kind of toppings you want on your pizza. Here, I only put a few, not many. And I am going to put minced garlic on it, but I'll, I don't have to get that out. I can just leave that right where it's at. Okay. Now, a strange thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, tomato paste. I'm going to put it in that bowl. Probably about a third of the can because I had always already used it for something else. I'm also going to take just traditional pasta sauce because I don't have tomatoes. So I can't make um, I can't make my own fresh tomato sauce because I don't have any tomatoes in my garden. But I'm going to put some of that in here. And I'm simply going to mix it with my tomato paste. 
Now you can just use plain pasta sauce if you want. I like to add the, the paste to mine. And then just kind of mix that up. We're getting it ready to put on our pizza. And my cat wants out, so let me let him outside. I'm ignoring him so he doesn't want to stay in. <laughs> he likes attention. I don't know. To me, it thickens up the sauce rather than just leave it, you know, like that. And sometimes I just put the plain pasta paste on my uh, pizza. For my sauce just depends on what I have on hand but see how much thicker this is now compared to what it was I'm also going to throw in a little extra basil I love basil and that came from my garden that is the glory of having your own garden you can just go out and pick stuff when you want it now this is the time when I'm gonna put my added garlic in Not much, but I do like a little bit of added garlic in my sauce. <laughs> now we're just going to leave that set aside. going to take um, olive oil. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in my skillet. And just make sure you coat the whole pan with it. Get it up on the sides a little bit. Because you're going to have some of your crust that's going to go up on the side. That's almost a part right there. <laughs> now I'm going to move this stuff over here because this is where I'm going to be putting it on my pizza at. Let's see what else. Yes. All right, that's it. Now this is rapid rise yeast, so you don't have to worry about it. But now, let me move the camera before I get my hands all doughy. Too close. But I'm just going to take my dough ball. I'm going to start spreading it out a little. Just 
pull it to separate it some. Or you can roll it out with a rolling pin. I'm going to place it in here and then I'm just going to spread it out. And you can get some of that olive oil on your fingers and put it right on the dough so your dough will stretch out easier and the dough doesn't stick to your fingers. Just keep pushing it out till it covers the whole pan and you can actually get some of that dough up on the sides. Take you a few minutes to work with it to get it spread out. Kind of reminds me of Pizza Hut's pan pizzas. But you got plenty of dough, so you just keep working with it till you get it pushed out. At first, it's not going to want to stay, you know, covering the pan, but after you work with it a little bit, it'll stay. I'm going to get my hands cleaned off a little bit. And I always keep water on standby so I can clean my hands. So. Now I'm going to take my sauce. Yep, and this is plenty of sauce. I'll grant you that. This is going to be a good pizza, y'all. I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese. Now you can use any kind of mozzarella you want. You know, this is just convenient for me to get it already shredded.
And again, this is your pizza, so you can put as much or a small amount of cheese on there as you want. I don't want to overdo it with cheese, but I do like a lot of cheese. I'm going to put my onions. Like I said, if you don't like onions, don't put it on yours. I, I make my pizza the way I like it. I like pizza anyway. It doesn't matter whether it's got onions on it or no onions or what. I just like pizza. But I like it with onions. So, And then I'm going to put a few green olives spread around. So, then I'm going to take my pepperoni, and you can put sausage, you can put hamburger, any type of a meat that you want. I like pepperoni. I like hamburger on it when I have it to put on there. I don't have any thawed out, or I would put hamburger. You can put, you know, ground up sausage. Just break it off in little humps and throw that on there. You can make a meat lovers out of it. It's just up to you. I told my granddaughter one time, I said, Alexandra, I know you're home alone, and this is when she was a teenager. And I couldn't go over to take her out to eat, so I told her, I said, well, I'll order you a pizza and have it delivered to your house. Any kind you want, what kind do you would you like to have? And she said, just a cheese pizza. See, that child did not even want meat on hers. Just a plain old cheese pizza was good for her. Okay, and now by the now our oven is hot, so I'm just going to place my pizza in on the lower rack, and I'm going to check it in about ten minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil, not much. Take a little bit of Italian seasoning. Um, and a little bit of Parmesan. I'm just going to stir that around. Mix it all up. And you say, well, that's not very much, but yeah, that, that's enough to go on my pizza. Because we're just going to put that on the crust when it comes out. You can do melted butter if you have melted butter. In fact, we could add butter to this and just mix it up because it's going to melt when it gets that pizza anyway. could put it in the microwave and zap it just a little bit, just a few seconds to melt it down, but not get it hot. It's 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop it in my microwave just a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, a second or two. Because I want it softened and melted. It's already softened, so... It only took about five seconds to do that. Mmm, huh? I've got to taste a piece of pepperoni. I've wanted pepperoni for days now. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. And it only takes maybe 10, 15, at the most 20 minutes for this to cook. I will have skillet <coughs> sorry about that <laughs> my allergies are that's better the um spices in that pepperoni didn't agree with my throat right now <laughs> But it's just another way to fix a quick and easy pizza. If you use rapid yeast, you don't have to let it, the uh, dough set for hours and hours. It'll rise pretty quick. I mean, you saw what I did. I just set it in the bowl while I chopped up my onions and preheated my oven, and it was ready to go. So. Yeah, I just was hankering on some skillet pizza today. Remember how you used to get those at uh, Pizza Hut? You got deep deep pan or skillet pizza. Individual pizzas brought to your table. I didn't want one quite that thick, but close. <laughs> it's going to be good. And also, like I said, you can you don't have to make a pepperoni pizza. You can make a hamburger pizza or sausage pizza. You can put strips of beef on your pizza. You can mix it all up and make a meat lovers, and just pop it in your oven and in the deep, you know, in the cast iron skillet, and it works great. And in the meantime, I'm going to be cleaning up some of my mess. I mean, this is a country kitchen, y'all. I don't put on any airs. I don't try to get fancy. Just country cooking. that onion in a container before it runs me out of the kitchen. I love onions, but oh my God, some of these onions are really strong. Use that in something else. Even put different cheeses on there. 
you know, you don't have to just put mozzarella. You can put mozzarella cheese on there. You can add American cheese, grated cheddar. Um, I mean, you don't want to put much, but you can add different cheeses. I prefer just really mozzarella on my, my uh, pizza, so... I hate to be doing this while the camera's rolling, but there's not that much time left on it, so I am doing it. Y'all leave in the comments what part of the country you're from that are watching my video. And let me know if you've ever tried a deep dish pizza or a skillet pan pizza before. And like I said, I'm not a professional, <laughs> so and I don't claim to be. So my videos are not professional either. It's just good home cooking. Well, it's only been in there about 10 minutes, maybe. And I may not have had my oven quite hot enough. I'm not sure. So... But you put the two tablespoons of olive oil in your pan before you put your pizza in because you that's what cooks your crust. It almost like fries your crust. And that was that was the whole idea, I think, of Pizza Hut starting to put their dough, pizza dough, in a skillet like that to, to cook it. And so the crust actually fries in that olive oil. And it makes it really good. It makes it really crispy. Starting to brown just a little. And I made me some uh, orange drink this morning, so keep my, my throat wet. <laughs> Yes, I'm a cook that does not have a dishwasher. I just put a couple of drops of uh, Clorox in my water. Not enough that you can even smell Clorox. And it keeps my dishes sterilized. 
and I do sterilize my counters with Clorox. But like I said, you don't use enough of it to really, eat. you can't smell it. But it's enough to sterilize with. So it's an alternative, you know, if you don't have a dishwasher. Because that's basically what your dishwashers do anyway, is sterilize your dishes. Because you basically wash them before you put them in there. So. A few more minutes, y'all, and we're going to have skillet pizza. I'm going to raise it to the top level after it's been in there for about 15 minutes. It's a waiting game, y'all. <laughs> See how far you can count while you wait for your pizza to cook. But it just goes to show you how easy it is. I mean, you don't have to make your dough days in advance, and it doesn't have to take you three or four hours to make a pizza. And I'm wondering, too, how many of you people watching my videos actually cook for yourself? Or do you go out to eat all the time? I can't afford to go out to eat. <laughs> it's a little bit too expensive to go out and eat all the time. What we're looking for is not only the crust to get brown, but we're looking for the top of our pizza to get bubbly. Because when it's cooked done, the top will have, it'll bubble. And I need to quit opening that so much. My stomach's growling, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want pizza. <laughs> I'm being silly, y'all. Don't mind me. And I usually store my cast iron pans right in my oven. After I clean them, I just pop them right in the oven so they're ready to go for the next time I want to use them. I think I have three or four cast iron pans. They're different sizes. This is the largest one. And it's about 12, 13 inches, something like that. And this will be kind of a thick crust. It's not going to be a real thin, crispy crust.
been cloudy and gloomy here all day, but it's not rained anymore. I mean, we could use some more rain. not quite done but what I'm gonna do is take my seasoned oil and I'm gonna brush the crust all the way around you hear that sizzle I'm going to dab some of it all throughout here. And I'm going to pop that baby right back in the oven. Let it cook that um, pizza just a little bit more. <clears throat> That little bit of oil and seasoning will help brown that crust around the edges, too. That's one reason for doing that. Not to only mention that it will heighten the flavor of the pizza when you start to eat it. You'll want to eat your crust as well. But I mean, how easy is, was that? Wasn't difficult at all. Didn't take me hardly any time to get it all together and get, pop it in the oven. I guess from the time you start gathering your ingredients until you take it out of the oven and it's ready to eat, you may have spent 45 minutes to an hour doing your pizza. Which I think that's record breaking. <laughs> I should have checked my crust and I didn't. I didn't check how brown it was getting underneath. But anytime you get a hankering for a pizza and you want it in a hurry and you don't want to go to a restaurant to get it, and you don't want to order one, and you've got the ingredients at home, just fix you a skillet pizza. Quick and simple. Couple more. 
several minutes. The crust is starting to brown. Couple more minutes, y'all, and we're going to have pizza. Yes, sirree, we're going to eat us some pizza. Mm hmm Can't think of nothing better. I love pizza any time of the day, night, any day of the week. I need cold pizza for breakfast and love it. <laughs> <clears throat> Any time of the week I can eat. There's so many different versions of pizza. It's unreal. Um, so many different ways that different cooks will make a pizza. So many different toppings for a pizza. check the bottom of my crust. I don't want it to burn. Oh yeah. Our pizza is done, y'all. Let's see if I can cut a slice out of this pan. I guess I really needed my pizza cutter for this, but I grabbed my knife because I can't get up in the corners with the, but there you go, y'all. Doesn't that look good? It's a deep dish or thick crust pizza, pepperoni pizza, and I got my toppings falling off. Taste that. Mmm. That's good. But yeah, look at this. That is going to be something good right there. Thick crust skillet pizza. And I would take a bite of it, but it's too hot. It will burn my mouth. <laughs> so with that, I mean, look at this. Look at this pizza in here. And I try to cut through it without scraping it. I don't want to scrape my pan. Just by pushing down with the knife, usually. And that's basically the way the, the pizza cutter cuts it. In fact, I may be able to do it with the pizza cutter. I know it won't go all the way to the edge of the pan, or it might. Yeah, that did, that worked. But how is that for pizza, y'all?
pizza fixed in a skillet. Quick, simple, and easy. And so good. Oh my God, it's so good. Let's see if I can possibly get a bite of it. No, it's too hot for me to even hold, so I'm not going to try. But take my word for it. That is good right there, y'all. Thick crust, skillet pizza. Try some. You will love it.